Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric and I'm here to help you with your drooping sword. Today, we're going to repair your busted tabletop miniatures. All right, we've all been there. We open up a fresh box of miniatures only to find a banana sword or a piece broken off or a big line where it shouldn't be or maybe a big old gap. These are all very common problems with miniatures with simple fixes that you can do at home. Before we jump into the first tip though, if you like this kind of video, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you always stay up to date. Okay, so bent bits are probably the most common problem with miniatures, and that applies to pre-painted or unpainted minis, but they're also some of the easiest to fix. The first option requires just two small bowls, tap water, and bonus points for tweezers. Fill one bowl with water as hot as you can get it, and the other with water as cold as you can get it. Hold the bent part of the mini in the hot water for about 30 seconds. Remove it from the water, then bend it back into shape. While still holding the mini, place it into the cold water for another 30 seconds. Take it out, pat it dry, and you should be in ship shape. You can also just hold the mini under the tap, but perfect results might not be as easy that way. Alternatively, you can bend a mini with my favorite fix, the heat gun. Now these can get very hot and can be a little dangerous, so be careful and know what you're doing. Set the heat gun to its lowest setting and hold the mini in front of the heat gun at a safe distance. Most of the time, the mini will fix itself automatically as it returns to its original sculpted shape, but please use tweezers if you need to manually adjust it or if you want to customize the pose. It helps to use a heat gun that can sit on its back so you can focus on holding the mini instead of the heat gun. I've got links in the descriptions to what I use. Okay, so now we're on to the broken bits. This is super easy. Most of the time, just a little drop of super glue will work. I recommend a super glue with a fine tip. I prefer the side press containers, like this Gorilla Glue. They're a little pricier than the standard tube, but I feel like I have better control when I use it. Just apply a very small dot and hold the parts together. Do your best not to wiggle it and stay steady. The larger the piece, the longer you need to hold it. I always go for about as long as I feel like I need to, and then wait about half that time again, just to be safe. This is also how we assemble minis that come in multiple pieces. Uh, you might consider scuffing up the contact points to create a stronger grip. And if your hands are a little shaky, it might be hard to hold these in place for a long time. So maybe look at getting a uh, special armature. Uh, these are things that you can use to clip the mini pieces into place and hold it for you. If you get a little glue around the outside of the connection point, that's okay. It's only going to make that bond stronger. But if you do want to remove it, you can use this next tip. Okay, so have you ever painted a mini and then all of a sudden there's a little line, a straight line that appears uh, in the paint or in the wash? That's probably a mold line. So this is another very simple fix. Uh, with a sharp razor blade or exacto knife, you just need to shave it down. Be careful, obviously these are going to be sharp, uh, and use a light touch. If you're pushing hard, it's a real good chance that you're going to skip it and slice your finger. Uh, if the problem is larger than a, just a simple mold line, consider using a Dremel or a similar kind of sanding tool to erode it. It's okay if you go a little bit deeper than you meant to. You can fill a shallow divot with paint and you won't even notice. Or if you go really deep, uh, you can fill it up with our next tip. Okay, and so yeah, our last tip is for filling holes in minis. So this is like a gap. Uh, usually it's where two parts of a model go together. So uh, like an arm into the shoulder kind of thing. So you'll want to fill these up with uh, some kind of cement or putty. Green stuff is a popular option, but I actually prefer plastic putty by Vallejo. Uh, usually a drop or two is enough to fill a gap and it dries up very quickly. It's easy to move it around and clean it up and get it right into the holes where you need it. Uh, but hey, you can use really anything here. So you can even use mud or dirt from basing material like this mud from Huge Minis. Uh, it goes in there. Uh, don't worry about if you get a little bit of discoloration around the sides. Once you prime or paint the mini, you won't see it. Uh, just be sure to give any of these options plenty of time to dry before you prime or paint. Okay, so I feel like most minis these days come in pretty good shape, but there will always be a need for a little bit of refurbishment. Uh, and if you have a problem with the paint job, you can also just touch it up with a little bit of paint as needed. I hope this little resource video was helpful. Uh, if it was, please hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, please consider becoming a Fry Minis patron. Uh, you can support the channel for as little as a dollar a month 
thank you to all my patrons. You help this channel keep on going. So yeah, I'd love for you to take a look over at patreon.com slash Uh Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.